check out these stunning tea bombs. Have you ever wondered how to make your own beautiful tea bombs? Tea bombs are fast becoming popular and they're so special to serve for your next tea. I'm Chef Sally. Stick with me to the end of this video as I show you the tips and tricks in making these gorgeous tea bombs. To make these tea bombs, I will show you how to work with isomalt. Isomalt is a sugar substitute created from beet sugar. It is less sweet than sugar and is used as a sugar-free alternative. If you've never worked with hot sugar or with isomalt, it can be a little tricky to work with and it's extremely hot. Isomalt is odorless and it has little to no impact on blood sugar levels, so it does not stimulate the release of insulin in the body. On medium-high heat, Melt the isomalt in a pan. I prefer to work with a non-stick pan when working with melted sugars and with isomalt. I'm not using very much isomalt, about a half a cup, and it's produced a lot of shells for me. When melting the isomalt, rotate the pan from side to side to regulate the heat and promote even melting. Once melted, keep the isomalt over low heat while creating the tea bombs. This will help to ensure that it is still fluid when you're forming your tea bomb shells. To decorate the tea bombs, I added bits of edible gold leaf to a silicon demisphere mold. The gold will stick to the sides of the mold, keeping them in place when working. Pour melted ice malt into the cavity about halfway from the top. To color the tea bombs, stir in a bit of blue food coloring. Use a skewer to dip into the color and stir the color into the ice malt as this helps to create a pretty pattern to the shells. Lift and rotate the silicon mold to cover the sides of the mold. Be careful, as the ice malt is extremely hot. When doing this step, I place the silicon mold on top of a warmed stone surface. This will keep the ice malt fluid for longer to make it easier to work with. You want to achieve nice even walls to the shell that are thin and delicate. Once cooled, carefully remove the shells from the mold and set aside. Do limit the consumption of isomalt, but because these tea bombs are thin and delicate, you don't have to worry about it. Compared to using regular sugar, isomalt has a lower melting point, which allows for a crystal clear appearance. As opposed to using sugar, as it melts with the high temperatures, the sugar can have a tendency to brown. To fill the tea bombs, position some of the shells back into the mold. Add a teaspoon of good quality loose leaf tea to the shells. These gorgeous aqua blue and gold speckled tea bombs are filled with a fragrant green tea with citrus and licorice. But have fun when making these tea bombs by changing the colors as well as using your favorite loose leaf tea or you can use tea bags. Before sealing the bombs, I'm wearing two layers of gloves. First, I'm wearing a thin cotton glove to buffer some of the heat. I added a form-fitting nitro glove on top of the cotton glove to help with handling the isomalt when melting and forming the bombs. Using a hot, non-stick fry pan, place an empty shell into the pan to warm the edges. Position the shell on top of a filled shell and add gentle pressure to seal the bomb. Continue to do this with your remaining bombs. To smooth out any rough or jagged edges around the seam, pick up a tea bomb and roll the seam of the bomb onto the hot pan to gently melt and smooth the edges. Be careful as the tea bombs are very thin and delicate and they may crack if too much pressure is applied. To serve your tea bombs, add freshly boiled water to the teapot Place a tea bomb into a teapot or your favorite mug and allow the tea to steep. When steeping tea, it can take between three to four minutes for white tea or green teas. When steeping herbal or black teas, 
It can take up to four to five minutes to steep the tea properly. For today's indulgence, I'm serving the tea in vintage china and using this antique tea strainer to catch any loose tea leaves. Doesn't this look stunning? These tea bombs are perfect for an afternoon tea and they make lovely gifts too. Thanks for watching. If you found value and were inspired with this video, give it a like and subscribe as it helps the channel. See you next time for another awesome video, but in the meantime, check out this video and this playlist. Cheers!